Welcome to episode 21 of our Net Zero Build. This is the Desert Comfort Experience. We're standing here in the entry. You can see this amazing ICF wall behind me. We're gonna talk about the electrical. So we're standing here in the entry and as you can see throughout the main structure, so the entire house, we have two structures on this build, uh, both net zero. So the main house is roughly 3,000 square feet. It's all ICF construction. This is Fox Blocks insulated concrete form on the exterior walls. All the interior walls will be rock wool, which we'll speak about a little bit later for sound bats. We have a detached guest casita that was ready frame. So that was from Builders First Source, ready frame construction that is a uh, wood frame construction. And then we also have uh, rock wall on the exterior and interior, which we'll have another video about that coming shortly. But as far as the ICF, one of the questions often asked, and for those of you that follow us on our social media channels, Instagram, we've done some stories and some reels about this, but here's the content to show how we're installing electrical. Something to think about with ICF. A lot of clients will ask us, okay, Brad, well, cost wise, you know, if I'm gonna do ICF as opposed to wood framing, cost difference, well, it's really hard to give a general percentage because there's so many variables depending on the layout, you know, for doing the stem walls and ICF. Uh, it varies by the size of the home, uh, the complexity, two story, single story. Uh, regardless, either way, even with when lumber was at its highest, you know, ICF is a little bit more expensive than wood framing. However, the benefits, you know, we've talked about this on our blog before. You have the soundproof quality that comes with the ICF exterior walls, you can see how quiet it is in here. Maybe on video you can't tell, but for us we can tell how quiet it is. Uh, it, it really assists with uh, dust. And so you think air pollution and like uh, all the dust that could come in, which is here in Arizona, we get a lot of dust and we get a lot of monsoons. So that's great. Uh, it's really good against bugs. And here in the desert again, you know, in the high desert, that's um, a great value add for the client. So these are some of the benefits of it. Now you look at the install. So when you think about install, there is, here on these walls, we have uh, our two inch foam, and then we have eight inches of concrete and two inch foam. Well, on our exterior walls, this is an interior wall, but on all our exterior walls, we actually did two inches of interior foam, we have six inches of concrete, and we have four inches of exterior energy sticks or, or foam, if you will, that gives us that R value that's really high. Now with that said, because these are solid concrete, there has to be a lot of planning. So the drywall, we're gonna take you around the house here and see some B-roll in this house, but we actually mount the drywall straight to the ICF here. So you don't have to fur these out. You don't have any wood framing members. The drywall gets mounted straight to the walls. It gets screwed in. You can see here where it says Fox Blocks, it has the logo. There's actually brackets in here that we can screw into. So this is easy for our drywaller now. As they come in, they can uh, install direct to this. One thing that's really important, you can see the backing. So if we're doing floating cabinetry, especially in this modern home, we have floating cabinetry or maybe handrails, uh, you know, grab rails, whatever they may be, for if it, ADA compliant, you'll have to notch these out or core these out to put um, framing members in. That way you have something sturdy to mount to as well. You can see in the jams here we've done that. So our LDLs here in the jams, um, this gives us that strength now as we're mounting doors on the interior. Going back to electrical, so the way we do this, as you can see, is we have a hot knife. So as we're talking about pricing, there's a little bit more cost to go through um, the, the concrete exterior walls. Additionally, there is a little bit of a cost from our mechanical companies because there's a little more logistics for them for automation, as you see here, and then our electrical to come through and run all the wiring. You know, plumbing, they have to core through as well for all of our plumbing, which in the showers, we have this DTV system from Kohler that we'll talk about in another video. Um, upcoming but as you can see what ends up happening is with a hot knife we core this out so we core out this channel as you can see this has been cored out so that we can run our wiring so all of our wirings ran we mount the boxes you know electrical boxes which are pretty standard additionally although it's covered up now we have staples so you can actually staple in the wires inside the cavity there and that allows us to get through inspection after we pass frame inspection or four-way inspection with our city inspector we can come back and we can now foam uh, everything that we cut out with the hot knife, right? Everything that's been cored out. And so this will still come back and get refoamed. And you can see that as we bring you back to the guest casita, you can see we're putting up the sound walls right now with rock wool. But standing here in the guest casita, 
Uh, we have the drywall here that will be installed. We'll be mounting the drywall straight to the wall here on that exterior wall. We have our transom windows, and again, they can now drywall the lid. And you can see there's no insulation in the lid. We're going to talk about the transportation highway as well in an upcoming video. But again, this is how we work through the ICF, right? The logistics, the cost. Uh, just understand that there is some timing, you know, with getting all your mechanicals and your electrical and your plumbing into the walls, into the ceiling. But again, it's a great solution. You can see here with the sound and with the quality. And again, the insulation value, the R value, this gives us that tight envelope to hit that net zero. And now as you look to the left of me, you can see these sound bats. This is Rockwool. This is a Rockwool product that we're working with, the sound bats. Stay tuned for episode 22. Click on that just below, and you can see the exterior installation we're doing for Rockwool at the guest casita, as well as the interior sound bats, as you see here.